It's Saturday morning on a busy bank holiday weekend, and Rich Clark and Rich Ellis are dealing with a six-car pileup just outside York. Right, so what's happened then? So, so this lad, yeah. he's come down here like a bullet, oh. hit that. And it's then gone bang, bang, bang. A lorry driver's dash cam captured the full horror of the crash. Yeah, the driver of the Kia first filled the roadside breath test. 118. 118 is the reading on device 41. He's been arrested by myself, 1600, at 1118. Six cars, ten people injured, one drink driver. Has anybody hurt? Has anybody in an ambulance? There's a, there's, there's a... Two taken to hospital on stretchers, a couple of walking wounded, black eyes, broken nose, lacerations, seat belt injuries, whiplash. Airbag burns. It's only by the grace of God that nobody's been killed. Did you see him get out of the driver's seat? Yeah. His mate got out of passenger side. I know you wanted to go off, but we ain't seen him driving, see? Yeah. So we need somebody to say you what driver of that car. Well, he's, he sat back down in it and took keys out of ignition, I think. Yeah. He had about nearly four times legal limit. Four times? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Legal limit's 35, you've blown 118. 118 micrograms. So the legal limit's 35. Um, either way, is it not water? And he knows it. So drunk involved in a multiple vehicle collision on a major road on a bank holiday weekend. So I mean, thankfully, no one seriously injured from it, which is massively fortunate. But the knock-on effect is that everybody now is going to be a little bit more pressure to get to the destination. There might be some secondary collisions arising from people's attitude now, which will be frustration. But people like this don't think about that, they're they bothered about getting sizzled and sozzled and then get where they want to go without walking it. <laughs> <laughs>